for Stasis and Zydra, I've had it. They don't work. I know I've heard it as a physician and many patients have said it, but can I assure you that these medications did do something for you and it was very likely very beneficial for you. There's a couple reasons why I find that uh, patients feel like the medication didn't work. First of all is that they weren't on the medication long enough. There was an interesting study that was done by Ma, and they looked at, in their study, patients who had dropped out of utiliz utilizing the medication after less than 12 weeks. So these patients weren't on the medication very long, and they had stopped. And what they found in the study was that the patients who went back on the medication had, had a pretty substantial improvement. In fact, when asked, 80% of the doctors of those patients said that the patients had pretty substantial improvement. Although some patients feel the difference within as little as two weeks, six weeks, or 12 weeks, other patients it may take a little bit longer. But if the patient doesn't feel the difference, does that mean that the medication is not working? Absolutely not. These medications are altering how the tears are made by the body. And in doing so, it may take a while for the medication to catch up to the level or severity of the dry eye that you as a patient or the patient that you have has. That doesn't necessarily mean that the medication isn't working if it doesn't catch up. It may just not be working well enough to be able to modulate the severity of the tears that your patients have. In which case, we may have to do additive treatments. In fact, in our practice, many of our patients are on multiple different treatments as I'm sure you as a patient or your patients are. These may include more severe meds, severe treatments, treatments that you may do to be able to help modulate the symptoms a little bit faster. Treatments like lippy flow, potentially do, doing things like warm compresses or artificial tears, or another great treatment to modulate uh, the symptoms the patient have, and that's the use of an amniotic membrane. Just realize that dry eye disease didn't start overnight and it's not going to end overnight. We're dealing with tear chemistry here and it's going to take a while for us to alter the tear chemistry and the functionality of the eyes before we can see some resolution. So don't bail on the treatment too early. Symptoms are rarely a good measurement for progress. Whether you're a physician or a patient, I'd recommend sticking with the treatment for at minimum a year and then rechecking the progress. And by checking progress, check the ocular surface and to ensure that the tear chemistry is the way that you want it to be. Just realize that you may be surprised at how effective your treatment has been. Thank you for joining me for this episode. If you want to see future episodes or prior episodes, feel free to subscribe to my channel.